Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing The French Connection So The French Connection came out in 1971 and was directed by William Friedkin and this film is actually based on a true story so it is about these two narcotics detectives played by Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider and they're trying to track and follow a French drug dealer as he tries to smuggle some heroin from Marseille into New York City. So this film actually starts off in a really interesting way because from the get-go we're introduced to Gene Hackman who plays um, Jimmy Popeye Doyle and Roy Scheider who plays Detective Russo and it's very obvious from the start of the film that these two detectives they don't exactly do things by the books. They're very rough with the criminals, particularly um, Doyle. And um, actually, in fact, Gene Hackman's character, Popeye Doyle, is actually a bit racist, a bit of a bigger, and he tends to hurl insults at quite a lot of people um, a lot of the time. So, you know, these two characters are not perhaps not the most professional pair, but they but they do eventually like to get the job done the best they can no matter what then all of a sudden the film cuts to France where these negotiations are taking place with this drug deal and at first it seems like these two stories don't have anything to do with each other but then eventually they start to mesh together and it all starts to make sense this is the first time that I'd seen this film and I did find the beginning of it quite slow and it did t take me a little bit of a while to get really interested but around the halfway point I was really hooked on this film and the second half of it I think it's fantastic it really speeds up and it really made me interested and want to know where this was leading and what was going to happen next by far the standout performance in this film is Gene Hackman he just plays a really interesting character in this film and he plays a character who is very determined and very persistent with his job particularly with this one case regarding the French drug deal and when everybody else or some of the other characters his superiors don't really think much of the case Popeye as his nickname is he is being very persistent and he's constantly chasing after these guys trying to find out the answers now we get a few really good scenes in this film there is one scene in particular which is a standout which is this chase scene so Popeye is in this car and he's racing along the roads um, in New York and then above him on this L train there's this French drug dealer who is in this train whizzing by and obviously the train is whizzing by and Popeye is chasing after him underneath in this car dodging in and out of traffic all the time occasionally actually hitting cars on the way and this whole sequence is absolutely spectacular it's a one of the best chase scenes in any film I've ever seen and it was actually really entertaining and still holds up really well today. It's actually a scene that really grabbed my attention and I was constantly hooked from that point towards the end of the film. I thought it was just a really entertaining thing just to watch on screen. I also have to say that the acting in general from all of the actors is actually very good in this film. We also get um, Fernando Ray who plays the French drug dealer and he is very good. There's a very interesting scene when, um, well, it is a chase scene again, but Popeye is chasing Fernando Ray's character on a train. But Popeye is following him, but um, Fernando Ray, he knows he's following him, but he doesn't want to be spotted. So they're constantly following each other, trying to dodge out of each other's way. And this whole sequence is almost a little bit amusing at one point, particularly with one particular scene, which... I won't spoil too much but this whole sequence is really interesting to watch and it's all very well filmed all very well done and yeah just an excellent sequence and very entertaining so in terms of what I probably didn't like about this film I have to say I'm not a massive fan of the music in this film the score although it's not always used when it is used I understand it's used to build up tension which obviously is brilliant because this is a thriller and you want the tension to be built up. You want to be on the edge of your seat in a film like this, which is fine. But the music didn't really do it for me. In fact, I was quite glad that in quite a lot of the scenes, like in 
a few of the chase scenes they actually don't use any music at all which i think was absolutely fine i think it worked perfectly but sometimes when they add that music in I, um i don't know perhaps if it sounds a bit too dated now perhaps it sounded better when it came out i'm not sure but just the music in this film it just didn't work it almost sounded a bit too loud and a bit a little bit too forced but then again you'll have to watch it to understand what i mean maybe you guys will disagree with me i'm not sure but overall i do think this is an excellent thriller it has a very late 60s early 70s feel to it because this whole film is a very gritty looking film if you look at the city in this film you look at the buildings you look at all the surroundings it's all very gray and quite dull and very dirty looking and quite grimy and it just gives that rough edge to it and really i suppose that look goes with the theme of the film perfectly because um these two detectives as I, as I said they are quite rough with the criminals they don't do things by the book and they're certainly not the most clean-cut pair but then again that makes them more interesting characters i also do think that roy scheider did a good um, job in this film obviously roy scheider's best known film is probably jaws where he played martin Brody, the main character and it's a shame that Roy Scheider wasn't in many other big films after these ones. It seems as though he was in a few big films in the 70s and then his career sort of didn't take off in the same way that Gene Hackman's done because Gene Hackman's obviously been in lots of big films and was a very successful actor. Obviously before this he had been in films like Bonnie and Clyde. But it's quite obvious in watching this film that Gene Hackman perhaps is the better actor just in this case anyway, so perhaps that's why he went on to become a bigger star than Roy Scheider. So overall, having watched this film for the first time, I have to say, I was very impressed. As a thriller, this 100% delivers. I fully recommend this film if you enjoy thrillers and if you want um, an edge of your seat type film that will keep you wanting to see what happens next and just be entertained really. And it does have a very good running time because it doesn't go on for too long this film so overall i'm gonna say i'm going to give the french connection a rating of nine out of ten it's a fantastic thriller i surely recommend it if it sounds like your sort of thing so well there we go so that is my review of the french connection so what do you guys think have you seen the french connection do you like it do you dislike it please let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.